Hi, everybody. If you're looking to become a full-time data scientist and AI expert from scratch, then you are in the right place. Today, I'm about to reveal the top three ways you can make money as a data scientist. If you're wondering about which way is the best way to make money as a data scientist, then the answer is pretty simple. Taking up a full-time job is a surefire way of making money as a data scientist. Today, I'm going to share with you the top three ways to make money as a data scientist. Number one, take up a full-time data scientist job. I put this one right at the top for a reason. A majority of data science aspirants are enthusiastic about finding full-time employment as soon as they complete their course or training program. If you land your dream job quickly enough, the money will start rolling in. I say this because the pay package for even an entry-level data scientist job is pretty lucrative. But choosing the right career path in data science is truly challenging. You need to understand that there is an assortment of roles you can choose from. Simply imagine all these various choices. Data analyst, data scientist, business analyst, data statistician, data engineer or data architect, big data engineer, data and analytics manager, machine learning engineer, database administrator, business intelligence professional, data ecologist, Yes, there are many other job titles, system analyst, operations analyst, marketing analyst, etc. in data science as well. So you really need to determine the role that suits you best. Remember, each job title means you handle data in a different manner, and you can easily get confused with the different responsibilities of each role. Therefore, you need to understand that the best job designation you choose is dependent on both your academic background as well as your work experience. For example, Let's say you have a statistics background. Then, a career as a data statistician is a natural fit for your skills. Similarly, if you're a software developer, a career as a data engineer or data architect will be the perfect fit. And if you're an MBA, the best role for you would be that of a data and analytics manager. The key point before you take up a full-time data scientist job is you need to be very clear about the career path you want to take. It's important that you play to your strengths. Consider carefully the skills in which you are already proficient. You can also consider the skills that appeal to you. How to land your dream job. Once you have completed your deep introspection, you can look closely at all the available data science career options. The best way to go about looking for a full-time data scientist job are get in touch with the right people. In this specific instance, the right people would be the ones who are already employed in a role that you have shortlisted. In the current scenario, LinkedIn is a safe bet. Identify the roles that are in demand in the marketplace. Next, find out what each one of these roles requires. If necessary, upgrade your skills. Evaluate your strengths. This step is very important, as it will equip you with the confidence you need at the job interview stage. Be honest with yourself. Based on your strengths, identify the role that closely aligns with your specialty and interests. If you are changing fields, be cautious. Make an in-depth analysis of the role you would be comfortable with and that would really interest you. Work with a mentor or a career coach. A mentor will walk you through the steps you'll need to take. A career coach will present you with a set of actions to take, such as taking up a course or applying for a specific role. Mistakes to avoid. Number one, jumping hastily into a career path without doing thorough research. You might easily end up taking the wrong job that you'll quickly quit. This isn't the right strategy to make money as a data scientist. Number two, failing to assess whether the role you choose would be a good match for your long-term, not short-term career goals. Remember, your aim is to make money as a data scientist over the long-term. So you need to choose a job designation that will hold your interest for a few years at least. Advantages of taking up a full-time data scientist job. Data science is essentially a profession in which you learn by doing. A full-time job presents you with adequate training opportunities, and the key benefit is you get paid for the training you undergo. Frequently, you get an opportunity to learn new subjects with your employer willing to foot the bill. Normally, you would have to learn it on your own time and spend your own money. But as a full-time employee of a company, your employer pays for your training, and you also get paid a salary for completing the training successfully. A full-time data scientist is assured of a steady income. Also, employers typically provide health care benefits, paid sick leave, paid annual leave, 
and retirement plans for their full-time employees. And full-time employees have access to more government benefits. Number two, become a freelance data scientist. While it's true that most data science aspirants prefer full-time employment immediately after the completion of their academic program, the ground reality is that the economy has not yet fully recovered. The coronavirus pandemic has played havoc with the economy. This is true not only in the U.S. and other developed nations, but it's also true in lesser developed nations as well. It's a fact that almost every nation has been jolted. How does this affect the employment prospect of data science aspirants? The first thing is unemployment rates are pretty high even now, December 2020, and there's still a lot of uncertainty even though vaccines may be available in a couple of months. In these uncertain times, getting a job as a data scientist can be a real challenge. Hence, becoming a freelance data scientist is the next best way to make money as a data scientist. The key factor working in your favor is that data science skills present you with the opportunity to find work as a freelancer. Another favorable factor is that in the current scenario, it's quite common for companies that have data science work to not have enough work to justify employing a data scientist full-time. And the extended lockdown during the past eight months, or rather, different phases of lockdown, has fueled the growth of the gig economy. Freelancers never had it so good. In these uncertain times, companies that have a new interest in data science will look to hire a data scientist consultant on a per-project basis first. They would be interested in completing a few freelance projects successfully before going in for a permanent data science hire. The other thing is, even companies with experienced data science teams may be looking for extra help on occasion when they have more work than they can handle. All these are potential clients for a data science freelancer. Several factors are working in favor of freelance data scientists at present. In the midst of the crisis as a result of the coronavirus pandemic, nations like the U.S., the U.K., and France have started preparing detailed guidelines to accommodate the rising freelancer population. These nations are putting new laws in place, and these include payment guidelines and employee benefit guidelines for freelancers, independent contractors, and gig workers. In this backdrop, companies are expected to deploy more freelancers. Hence, going forward, for the next several months, freelance data scientists will be hired more often than in-house full-time data scientists. The main advantage of freelancing is that you can earn a decent sum of money. Depending on the client you work for and on the data science project you choose, you can charge a rate ranging from $35 per hour to $100 per hour. Senior data scientists charge $150 per hour to $200 per hour. In the best case scenario, you might end up making more money working as a freelancer than you would even if you were working as a full-time data scientist, and you might also work fewer hours. You can also work as a freelancer even if you have a full-time job. Nothing can stop you. The only problem is you'll need a higher level of self-discipline and commitment. Another major advantage of remote freelance work is you can set your own work schedule. You'll typically have enough freedom to make life choices that you simply cannot make if you are a salaried employee with a fixed work schedule. Yet another advantage is that you can work on different projects with different teams of people. Since the COVID pandemic has not yet run its full course, it continues to have an adverse effect on data science professionals and how companies are working with their full-time employees. The availability of several collaboration tools in the marketplace at comprehensive prices has eased the burden of employers. Employers can hire and manage freelancers more easily. On the positive front, the freelance boom is fueling the demand for freelance data scientists. The best freelance platforms for data scientists are Upwork, Data Science Central, AngelList, Data Science Stack Exchange, and Toptal. Number three, becoming a data science blogger. Blogging on data science is a great way of sharpening your skills as a data scientist. Starting a blog enables you to teach data science aspirants many industry secrets they may not be aware of. And in this process, you can learn new things as well as earn money. Writing a data science blog influences every aspect of your professional life. In addition to earning money, you can add a lot of value. As I already mentioned, when you blog about data science, you'll learn things in more detail. You also build a reputation as a data science expert. When you become a data science blogger, you will gradually become better at explaining complex concepts in the simplest of ways. And before you write an educational post, you'll need to learn about the topic in great detail. So writing blogs is a great motivator for learning complex data science concepts in depth.
the Medium Partner Program is a great place to start. But don't expect to make money as a data science blogger right from the start. Initially, you may be disappointed with your earnings. As far as blogging platforms are concerned, Medium is possibly one of the easiest places to get started as a data science blogger. And if your writing is engaging and of high quality, you can easily end up with a large following in a matter of a few months. You can become a full-time blogger by spending 30 to 40 hours a week writing posts. As you become a more proficient data science writer, Medium will be able to distribute your posts and tags, and this will garner a high number of views for your posts. You can hope to earn a moderate income by becoming a data science blogger. I don't want to mislead you by telling you that you can make a fortune out of blogging. The truth is, blogging is a long-term project. You can't expect to be wildly successful overnight. You need to put in significant time and effort, and you need to persevere even when things don't look favorable. But you can certainly start today. The main advantages of blogging. The main advantages of blogging are you can document your work, remain updated with trends, reach a wider audience, and establish credibility to bag decent data science projects. And in the process, you can generate a steady source of income over the long term. Blogging may not be as lucrative as a full-time job or a freelance gig in the short run, but blogging presents you with a door to numerous opportunities over the long term. When you write on data science, your work becomes available to the whole world instantaneously. Employers and HR people who look at your LinkedIn profile can find your work. You may be contracted out of the blue by someone with a request to write a paid article, or someone who is impressed by your dedication may offer you a long-term data science project. You never know who may contact you with a lucrative offer. There are so many data science experts looking to write for paid blogs. They may, however, not have a portfolio to show. Your data science posts will act as your online resume. And when the right opportunity presents itself, yours may be the first application. But be warned, when you think about blogging, initially, you may be overwhelmed with the need to write perfect blog posts all the time. This thought can be a huge hurdle in getting started. The other thing is you may think you don't have enough data science knowledge or your blog posts may not draw enough views or you may be worried about the lack of consistency on your part. For instance, you may need to post an article every week or every fortnight or you may be apprehensive about finding the right audience. The point is there could be a hundred different reasons to fail in blogging, but on the positive front, you need only one good reason to succeed. And I am sure you can find that one reason that will drive you forward and ensure your success in blogging over the long term. Blogging is essentially a long-term plan. It's not a quick-fix pursuit. If you're interested in learning more about becoming a data scientist, then be sure to check out our courses at the first link in the description. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos helping you to start your data science and AI career and more. Check out this playlist of our data science and machine learning lessons and see you in the next video. Take care.